quite a few of my recent videos have been kind of important or like serious topics related to Payday 3, so I figured I wanted to do at least one less serious video before I end off for the year because I'm travelling for Christmas and I probably won't be back until the start of the next year, so this will be my probably my last video um until next year. And the topic that I wanted to pick was weird small issues that are not major game breaking problems but they are issues nonetheless and the first issue is on the screen right now can you see it it's pretty hard to spot unless you're looking for it uh the this outfit is bugged and there's a gap uh right here along where the um like the uh that's not a shirt that's a turtleneck turtleneck uh Turtleneck? Turtleneck. Uh, meets the, uh, like, the trousers. You can see there's a gap there where you can actually see through the gloves and you can see the inside of the gloves. So the next issue that I want to show off is actually right here on the roof uh, of uh, Dirty Ice because we can take a look at this insulation and if we... insulation? That was a weird way of saying it. But uh, somewhere on here, I know there is a typer. It's been a while since I've read this, so it might take me a second to find it. Ah, there it is. Okay, yeah. So you see it right there? Water repellent. Uh, that is not how you spell repellent. <laughs> um, so yeah, these are the kinds of uh, issues that I want to uh, I want to show. You know, not game breaking things, just very minor weird issues like this. Before I show the next thing, actually, uh, there is another issue that I just remembered that's a bit more serious, but again, it's still pretty minor because it doesn't really impact gameplay at all. Uh, which is that when they added Murky Station and Cook Off, so a few updates ago now, uh, they actually broke the chrome paints. So as you can see, uh, this is gold chrome. But if I click on uh, Gold Varnish, it looks pretty much the same. Uh, the colour changes a little bit, but the actual like visual effects of it, the shader on it, uh, is exactly the same. Uh, these used to be different, but now they have the same kind of like visual look. And it's even worse if you compare Gungrey Varnish with Black Silver Chrome. So this is uh, Black Silver Chrome. Uh, this used to look a lot different to this before the update, and now if I click on Gungrey Varnish, it's literally identical. So these two paints are now the same, even though they should look different. Uh, and this is true for all of the chrome paints. The chrome paints now look like varnish paints, which is a bit of a strange issue. I don't really know how this one happened, but like this is copper chrome, this is copper varnish. They, the only thing that changes is the colour. Also, while we're on the topic of um, paints being weird, uh, this is the... Uh, fuck, what mask is this? You know what mask is, Billy Ballistic. Uh, you can find it again <laughs> but yeah on this mask if i look at gold chrome it looks like this right uh but if i look at gold varnish it looks like this so you can see they look very different but they have the same kind of like brightness to them right um now if i go back and i look at the breacher mask uh this as you can see it's it's the same kind of darkness as the uh golden chrome was on the other mask, but this is Golden Varnish, so if I select Golden Chrome instead, it becomes really weird looking, and I don't know why this happens on this mask. I don't know if this happens on any other masks as well, uh, but it definitely happens on Breacher, and it seems like some kind of weird issue. This has been in the game since launch, um, and it's the only reason I'm using Golden Varnish on this mask instead of Golden Chrome, because Golden Chrome just looks super weird. But yeah, you can see this is Golden Chrome on Billy Ballistic, and this is Golden Varnish on um the breacher mask they look very similar uh in terms of how they actually like look but obviously golden chrome looks just super over exaggerated for some reason like like the effect of it is just really amplified i don't know why and i think that's just with breacher like i said because the other masks seem to be fine like golden varnish there golden chrome actually yeah so that looks fine there it might just be billy ballistic that's weird then billy ballistic might be the one that's weird Either way, the patterns don't, uh, or the colours don't apply to each mask in the same way and it makes it really kind of awkward to try and figure out how to customise them in a way that you want. Oh yeah, and one last inventory bug while I'm still here, I just realised. Um, the preset mask, um, 
that they added recently. So if I go here and I scroll down to preset masks uh, under wraps, um, if I I bought it as you can see, but if I go to my mask list and I scroll down, uh, as you can see, it isn't here, and that's because for some reason it's right at the bottom, and the DLC masks are also right at the bottom. And for some reason, all of the DLC stuff gets put to the bottom of the list, and I don't know why. Um, I, don't, I don't know why this happens, it's kind of weird, and because you can't reorder the inventory at all, uh, it's kind of annoying, because I literally can't, ch I can't fix it. So this next issue is a bit of a subtle one, but it's uh, something that seems quite strange to me which is in the IT department uh, on the second floor of Golden Track, as you can see. Uh, if it's on the left side, it's this computer here. Um, obviously the correct computer you need to use. If it's on the other side of the building, then this is the correct computer you need to use. Uh, but also it's worth noting this room is just flipped if it's on the other side, which is kind of strange. Like they just mirror the room, I guess. They just flip the room around and use it on the other side, but whatever. Uh, this computer here, uh, first of all, the obvious thing that everyone points out, it has no keyboard. So when you have the typing animation on this, you are typing on nothing. But the thing that stands out to me more is that there's a chair on this side of the desk, but it's not facing anything. Like, <laughs> what is this chair's purpose? Like, you would expect the chair to be on this side, right? Because this is where the the stuff is, but it's not. Uh, also, all of the desks in this um, room are standing desks, as you can see here are the controls for the standing desk. And this is true for this one as well, which just kind of raises more questions, because with this one, like, it makes sense, right? The chair's there, the desk is there, the center controls are there, or the controls for the desk are there, but in this one you have the chair on the other side, and the controls here, and... Like... Ha ha if, if you're sat on this side of the desk, how are you going to control the deck. What? <laughs> like this doesn't make any sense, this chair. This chair completely ruins this table. The lack of a keyboard here is one problem, but this this chair creates so many new problems. <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense at all. I guess the um probably part of the reason that they didn't put the chair here is because this server rack is here. So it would like there probably wouldn't be space for it, but I, I don't know, this chair is just, it, it fucks with me. Like, I, every time I see this desk, it's just this chair. I, I don't, I don't like this chair. So this next issue is on Road Rage, and it's quite a subtle one, but this keyboard doesn't have an M key. Uh, like, you can see, just looking at it real quick, there's no M on this keyboard at all. Also, I believe I remember seeing that some, there was a typer on the screen, but I can't really, oh yeah, oh yeah, no, I see it. it's, yeah, strength is spelled wrong. It's there. It's a signal strength. It's really hard to see even for me here. And I don't have like a high zoom scope. But yeah, strength is spelled S T R E N G H T instead of G T H. Another minor type of issue. Because that one, this one, you, you can barely even see it. Um, oh no, it's more obvious there. Signal strength. <laughs> Uh, but it's still quite hard to read because it's quite small. So back on Golden Shark again, there are actually two places to see the things I'm about to talk about, but I'm going to go over to here instead. And this is a bit of a strange one because this is something most people might not even know existed. I didn't know it existed until I was wandering around the map at one point. But there's this uh, burger place here. Uh, and this is absolute nitpicking to the highest level because there's the exact same building is also over there as well. Uh, but this building here, I'm going to use this one because this, this version of the building has some other issues that you can find. And I've had to bust out the six times scope for this because, uh, as you can see, it's quite hard to read. But uh, with this, we can we can read everything. So once again, civilian detection being weird as fuck. Yep, this is better for you, alright. But uh, yeah, we can read everything in here. Um, and there are some... There are, there are some uh, some weird things that we can read, uh, so we can see the orders and stuff. But the the important thing that I want to point out is right here. So as you can see, here's the Wrangler Rat Plus menu where it says you get a free big butter liscus. But over here on the drink side, it says big butter licious. So someone 
making these textures clearly made a typo somewhere. I would assume it's supposed to be buttolicious and not buttoliscus. But um, yeah, you could also read like all of this if you really want to. Uh, there's some interesting things here like Crazy Crisp Chicken and Bob Loomy Special and Smashing Bacon. Uh, an eggs burger. Premium roast coffee only costs one dollar twenty nine. Now I'm not a. I, I don't. I don't really go to like places that sell coffee, so I don't. I don't think. I, I don't know if this is right or not, but I feel like one dollar twenty nine is kind of low for a premium roast coffee. But the uh, the real issue I went over to this building instead of the one over there because over there you can see all of the same things in here because it's just a copy and paste of the same building. Also civilian detection once again being absolutely incredible just ignore these people cowering in the street there we go um if i go over here you can see that everything suddenly looks weird and that's because the lod's for everything in the building just kind of don't work if you're over here unless you zoom in which is really fucking weird um and it kind of makes sense because on the building over there if we look over there there's no window there's just a wall so this window only exists on this version of the building, so I don't think you're supposed to be able to look through the building from this side. Which just kind of causes everything to look weird, but... Yeah... Also, stop fucking screaming, holy shit! Uh, we can also look through the side here, and there's like a surprisingly high amount of detail given that you, like, that never go over here, and this isn't something you're ever expected to look at. Like, there's recycling stations and stuff like that. A lot of like work went into the uh, the surrounding environment of this map. Yeah, and just so you can see, here's the same building on the other side. You can see there's no window there, like I said, so you can't look through and see the weird LEDs. But um, you can still like look through and read all the same stuff. Uh, Big but Aliskus, it's still spelled wrong, so on. Although interestingly, this store is for lease. And over here we can find a store that I assume is called Rolled Taste? It's either Rolled Taste or, I don't know, Road Taste? I, I don't know, but this is just kind of weird because it's just a, like, a general corner store. I don't really get the name. Like, the, my only issue with this is I don't understand why it's called Rolled Taste. Like, it just looks like a, a corner store, right? Like, why is this Rolled Taste? I don't get it. So moving over to Cook-Off now, and this is probably the last thing I'm going to um, point out because it's uh, the last thing that I can, like, really think of at the minute. Um, there was a popular Reddit post a while back about how the portions of this house are kind of fucked. Um, but I don't actually think the proportions of this house are that fucked, uh, because the the screenshots that were posted for the evidence of the of this house being kind of proportioned weird, um, combi compared kind of this with how it looks in Pier Two, and if you actually compare the like perspective from how it is in Pier Two to Pier Three, uh, everything looks about the same actually. Uh, I think the main difference is that the player models are now shorter in Pier Three. Because in Payday 2, if you were to do the same thing and look straight on at one of the other players, you would be looking at their chest, not their head. So the players in Payday 2 were taller than they are in Payday 3. Um, but there is one thing about this house that is proportioned weird. And that's the fucking roof. Look at, like, look at this. Why is there this much space between the door and the roof? It isn't like this in Payday 2. Um, in Payday 2, it's maybe about that high up, uh, right there, instead of like that much higher. So they fucked up the height of this first floor, which is weird because if you look at the second floor, like look at how much space is between the window and the ceiling, it's not that much. But then you go back down here again and it's so much more. So they fucked up the height of the first floor somehow, um, which has like resulted in the whole house feeling really tall for some reason. Wait, no, it's not because this, this floor looks more reason. It's just this room. Wait, it's just this room? Okay, I don't know. I don't know what they've done. Uh, they've, they've fucked up something in regards to the proportions of this part of the house anyway. And because of that, as you can see, it's pushed this floor up a bit more than it should be. Uh, which means the stairs are now presumably taller than they should be. They definitely feel taller than they should be anyway. Um, and it just kind of resulted in the whole house feeling slightly oversized. Even though the like actual perspective of, of everything looks the same as it does in Payday 2. Uh, that combined with the play models being smaller than they are, shorter rather, than they were in Payday 2 as well. Um, yeah, just a weird consequence of how they've designed this house and how like 
they like redesign stuff to make more sense in Payday 3. Off the top of my head, I can't think of any more heists that have issues like this, like weird, really weird minor stuff. So that's probably where I'm going to win this now. Like I said, this will be the last video I upload this year. I might uh, prepare something in advance for the 1st of January. Uh, I might not though. I've done a like New Year video every year for the last like I don't know how many years I've done it now, but I've, I've done it every year. Um, so I, it would kind of feel wrong to not do one for this year, but I might not because I'm kind of going to be busy over Christmas and stuff. Unless I record it now, obviously, but yeah. So thank you very much for the support over this uh, last year as well, over like the last few months. It turns out uploading videos uh, actually gets you subscribers, which is weird. I would have never guessed that one. Uh, so yeah, I've hit 600 subscribers. I've been stuck on like 500 for like a year or something now, so thank you very much for the obviously subscribing. Thank you very much for the uh, support on the last few videos, even though some of them weren't quite to the standard that I wanted and I kind of just rushed some of them, but I, I'm still happy with how all, the, how all the videos have turned out, even if I, like I said, rushed some of them. Thank you very much uh, for watching and I will see you next year, unless I do a stream uh, in the next couple of days before I leave for Christmas. Because I've, I think I might do a stream, but I'm not 100% sure yet. If I don't, then next video will be at some point in January. I will see you then, presumably.